tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. Pine wilt is a disease of pine trees, primarily Scotch and Austrian pines in our area, that has been in the area for several years now. And actually it's been a real severe problem in eastern Kansas and has been slowly working its way west. Unfortunately, this tree behind me is a prime example of what pine wilt can do. Um, this is a Scotch pine that started declining here in the last several weeks and it's gone down very, very quickly. And that's one of the key symptoms of pine wilt, rapid death of the tree. The other thing that you'll notice is some of the, the branches still have some green on them, but when it starts to turn with this pine wilt disease, they get kind of a dullish gray-green color, and then eventually even a lighter gray-green color, and then brown. So it goes very rapidly through those color stages, and it's not just a branch or two, but usually the entire tree that starts to look like this. And once again, it kills the tree very rapidly. Now with pine wilt, this is a disease that's actually caused by a little microscopic worm called a nematode that gets into the water conducting vessels of these trees, reproduces so quickly and feeds on those water conducting uh, vessels and damages them, and it causes the overall tree to wilt and die. Now this little worm or nematode is spread from tree to tree by a beetle called the pine sawyer beetle. And this pine sawyer beetle is in the area. It's been around for a long, long time, but when it lands on a tree and feeds on a tree that's infected with the pine wood nematode or that nematode that causes pine wilt, it can pick up that little nematode and carry it through its um, breathing tubes or its trachea and its, its lungs and take it actually to other trees that way and transfer it to a somewhat healthy tree. So unfortunately, there's no cure for pine wilt. Your only options once a tree has pine wilt, like this one behind me, is to go ahead and remove the tree down to the ground and even try and get that stump out of there and make sure you destroy the tree, either by chipping, burning, or burying. Now, usually we want you to have the trees out before the spring of the following year. So usually we say April 1st of the following year because those beetles and the larvae are still present within this tree. And if you left it there to um, warmer temperatures of next spring, those beetles could emerge and move to other trees. So make sure you get the trees out and destroyed. Now, if you're wondering, maybe your tree's looking a little bad. Does it have pine wilt or not? Once again, this color, this rapid death of the tree is very symptomatic. The other thing is if you take a branch on a pine wilt tree, See how easily that just snapped? Um, there's no resin flow in the trees anymore. So on a healthier tree or on a tree that's dying from some other disease maybe, there will still be some resin flow, some flexibility, some sticky sap on the branches. Usually with pines, you get really sticky fingers when you break branches or cut branches. But on a pine wilt tree, it just snaps. Very, very dry. If you suspect that you have pine wilt, don't hesitate to call your local extension office or your local forester to have us come out and take a sample and we can have that sent in to test for that little pine wood nematode to confirm whether or not it is present and whether or not it is truly pine wilt. If you need more information about the details of pine wilt, your local extension office also has a nice pamphlet that describes the entire life cycle what um, the details are about those insects and the nematode that I just talked about, and all sorts of information about what your options are as far as control, um, removal of the tree, and sanitation efforts. So if you have questions, please contact your local Extension Office. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.